have my ECS tuning shipment here for my rebuild that we're doing on my M54 uh, 3 liter engine for my race car. I don't know what everything is in each box. I kind of know based on when it showed up and what got shipped out. Uh, but we're going to be going through everything uh, on top of some of the items that I had bought in preparation for this a while back. Uh, there are some items over here that I bought preemptively knowing that eventually I'd be rebuilding the engine. Before opening anything up, I want to do a big shout out to Jacob Crabtree, who is my go-to guy at ECS Tuning. Uh, he's always been really good with me. He's very knowledgeable and knows all of his stuff. ECS Tuning is a great company. They're very competitive with their pricing. Shipping is very fast. But with that being said, now this is an ECS Tuning's fault, but I have some bad news about some of the upgrades that I was going to be doing to my motor. The Shrik cams that I have ordered for the engine uh, will not be available until sometime uh, late spring, early summer. And it keeps getting pushed back and pushed back. In fact, I just got an email today, that might be one right there, saying that it's going to be pushed back another couple of days. So I'm actually not going to be doing cams this go around. I haven't decided yet whether I want to rebuild the engine and then do the cams while it's in the car or figure out a way to build the other head that I have free at the time since I'll have two essentially two engines, rebuild the other head and then swap them. Uh, we'll get back to that when the time comes but for now we'll just be doing my engine rebuild. So I'm going to go over the parts that I already own so that we can get them off the table and I get some of these other ones opened up. So I have some ARP head studs. If you don't know what head studs are, basically what this is, it's a stud, so it threads into the engine block and then there's an actual nut instead of it being a bolt. These are mostly for cars that are super built. If you're running a lot of boosts and stuff like that, you definitely want these. I don't think that they're necessary for my application, but since we're in there already, I might as well go to the upgraded studs, so that's why I have these. Next up is the Victor Rhines head gasket. Uh, this is more of an OEM replacement. Uh, I don't think this is really much of an upgrade. I think it's just kind of to get us uh, back to our OEM spec. And then obviously I have my oil pan gasket made by the same company. Don't have any issues with these guys so far. I own a couple uh, gaskets from them and I believe that my bushings, my engine mounts actually are Victor Rhines as well. So we're gonna start with this guy first and uh, then we'll go to the small one on top there. So this one said fragile handle with care on it. Um, I'm assuming this is my oil. Well, to start this box off with, um, I got a medium ECS tuning t-shirt and another ECS tuning t-shirt, large. Yeah, so this is my oil change kit. Um, I am gonna be running Royal Purple which I just recently started running in the vehicle. I did Royal Purple this last go around. It's the first time I'd ever done it. Car's only got about 2,500 miles on it, so I'll be doing my oil once a year, even though BMW's intervals are closer to 7,000 miles. All seven quarts of oil and the man oil filter. Then there's the other t-shirt I got. Pretty cool, it says Ohio on the back. All right, well, I'm kind of confused. I'm not sure why I got this back, this is the clutch that I uh, sent back to them after having issues with the one that I bought. I'm not sure if this was a mistake or if they just wanted me to have it back. I'm not sure what I would necessarily be using it for. I don't think it would fit on the E36. I, I guess I could look into it, but um, looks like uh, Jacob Crabtree is getting a call tomorrow about this, about this part. I'm not sure what's going on, but we're gonna package this up and put it to the side. This actually doesn't weigh very much, but it, um, I'm assuming has a lot of parts in it, so let's get it opened up. Well, there's a lot in here. First off, one of the coolant hoses that run underneath the intake. Now I'm gonna try to link everything in the description below. I have a lot of parts here, so the list is gonna be quite long. Oil separator, intake manifold gasket, lines to the oil separator, piston rings, Six of those. The lower timing chain, main seal, rod bearing set, main bearing set, Vanos gasket, rear main seal, camshaft locking tool set. And of course, I had a little bit of fun and bought the ECS tuning oil filler cap, which is aluminum. Uh, I think this looks awesome. Pretty excited to get that on the car, actually. So in this bag here, we have the oil filter housing gasket, 
Thermostat housing gasket, anti-rattle rings for the Vano system. Whole bunch of gaskets and washers here, which are for the rest of the Vanos rebuild. I've never done uh, one of these rebuilds before, so I'm not gonna talk too much about it because I'm not sure what everything does here. Assembly lube, this is our upper timing chain, throttle body gasket, oil pump timing chain, oil pump sprocket. The three liter M54 engine has a tendency to back its oil pump nut off of the sprocket. And what that'll do, you'll lose oil pressure as soon as all that comes apart and you'll ruin your motor almost instantly. Um, especially the fact that a lot of these come off when the engine is revving really high. I guess there's just, just the right frequency to loosen that guy up and it comes off and your engine won't, will not last much more than a couple revs before you're done. So what's nice about this is it has a wire in it. And what that does is allows you to put the nut on and then tie the wire off to the sprocket. And that way, this nut will not come off on its own. I decided not to replace the oil pump itself. I have two of them. I know one's in working condition, so I guess if the one that came with the new motor isn't working, I can always use my old one. So I just bought that rebuild kit for it to just kind of go through and freshen it all up. Other than that, this is everything I've got for the car. So far, I am in this entire project with the purchase of the engine and this rebuild kit around $2,000. In my opinion, that's pretty cheap. Honestly, I thought I was gonna be way more for just the engine. I was pretty surprised that the M54s are going as cheap as they are. So we're gonna go and take a look at the engine and where it is now, because uh, tomorrow it's actually getting torn down all the way to the block. The block is being taken to a machine shop to make sure everything's okay. We're gonna hone the cylinders out, uh, clean it up real nice, and then we'll be putting everything back together and using all my new parts. 